solubility test. So for the solubility test, first we have to check the potency potency of the uh, this dithionate. So again we will see. We can take about three to four ml of methylene blue. We will add pinch of powder of dithionate. If color disappears, that means our dithionate is potent. So we can use it for the solubility. As you can see, we have I have added. So the color is disappeared. So our dithionate is working fine. This powder is working fine. It has a reducing property. So it can be used for our solubility test. All right. For the procedure for solubility test. We have to take one ml of solubility reagent, uh, and I have freshly prepared this solubility reagent, which consists of 25 gram of K2HPO4 dipotassium hydrogen phosphate, 14.3 gram of the KH2PO4 potassium dihydrogen phosphate, and 250 milligram of the saponin powder, and 100 ml of distilled water. So I will take. 1 ml of this uh, solubility reagent in each of the test tube. Now I have to add pinch of the powder, dihydrate powder in each of the test tube. Now you have to mix it, this test tube, so dihydrate powder dissolved in our solubility reagent. Now we can add 10 micro of the blood, the RDC to this reagent. to mix So we will wait for the arguments. Okay. So after two to five minutes, uh, we can see the solubility results. So I have drawn two lines, two parallel lines, two point five centimeter from each other, and I have to see whether the line is visible through it or not. So as this is a unknown sample, and we can see the two lines. Through the solution, so it is a transparent. The solubility test is negative, so mostly the, this patient is normal. So I can report that this is a normal. Now this is a sickle plate control. I have already the control. I cannot see the two lines through the solution. So this is a transparent because the presence of reduced hemoglobin in it. So the reduced hemoglobin in the phosphate buffer is insoluble. 
so it become precipitated and solution will become turbid see similar way the similar way we have a fecal disease cycle we can now see lines through the solution so that means again because of the presence of reduced hemoglobin due to the dithionate we added this reduced hemoglobin is insoluble so it becomes turbid again i have a cold blood so i can see the lines through the solution so in the fetal hemoglobin so fetal hemoglobin does not show solubility test positive so it is negative so in normal person or in the cold blood the solubility test will be negative when in case of sickle trait and sickle disease it will be positive now whether the person has sickle trait or disease we can differentiate with the help of hemoglobin electrophoresis in patient of sickle cell trait person will have a and s band while in case of sickle cell disease only the hbs band will be c all right